So you just got done making your very own animation in Apple Motion, or maybe you just downloaded a template from online, but you want to get that animation into Final Cut Pro so you can use it on all of your projects. Uh, well, in this quick video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can get your animations, templates, all that stuff into Final Cut Pro so that you can use them for yourself. Now, if you made the animation for yourself in Apple Motion like I did here, which P.S. if you want to learn how to make this animation, I've got a video linked above. But once you're done with your animation, uh, you can head up onto the top here and click File and then click Save as and you can give your uh, template a name and so I'm just gonna name this uh, nice lower third uh, hopefully you can come up with a better name than I did uh, but then you can click what category you want uh, the animation uh, to be in so uh, you got lots of options here you can create a new category um, I'm gonna throw this into motion tutorials uh, I never really add a theme uh, don't really know what that does uh, but that's pretty much it then you're gonna click publish and then as soon as you've clicked publish it will be over in Final Cut Pro so that's pretty easy but what if you download a template uh, from someone online for example maybe you watched one of my videos and you downloaded one of my free templates that I offered in my videos well let me show you how that's done so if you went to my video on how to make a modern lower third uh, I've got a link below in that video where you can go to just download the template for yourself and it'll take you to this screen in Google Drive and so you can click on the template and you'll notice in each template that you download from anywhere there's going to be these three files uh, these two PNGs and then kind of an Apple motion project file that's what that top one is there uh, but we don't need to really worry about the individual parts so we're going to go back and all you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download this folder and so we're going to go down here we're going to go to download it's preparing the download a few moments later and now that the download is ready you'll notice it down here in my downloads folder uh, you'll see I've got this folder called modern lower third template but now how do we get it into Final Cut Pro well the first way you can do it is by going down and opening up finder and then on the left side you're gonna see a location called Macintosh HD and then you're gonna go to users you're gonna click on the user that's yourself so for me this is Daniel uh, then you're gonna see a folder called movies you're gonna click movies you're gonna go down and you're gonna see motion templates and now you're gonna be like okay now we're on to the right spot we're gonna click motion templates and then you'll see these folders here called titles transitions generators effects compositions and so you'll notice here these are the different things you can add to your video in Final Cut Pro titles transitions effects all that good stuff and so all you need to do is to go into the folder of the thing that you're trying to add so the one we downloaded was a title so I'm gonna go into titles uh, and then you're gonna see all these folders here and these are basically the folder that you want to drop uh, your effect into similar to how when we saved it in Apple motion we chose the folder and so I'm gonna save this into motion tutorials so I'm gonna go down I'm gonna grab the whole folder and drag it into motion tutorials uh, apparently I already have one uh, that's named that so I'll just replace it and so now when we open up Final Cut Pro we go up here to my titles and you'll see a thing called motion tutorials and what do you know we've got our nice lower third right here where we saved it now, a little tip is instead of having to go through all of those steps to find that motion templ templates folder uh, you can use spotlight uh, Alfred I use a search thing called Raycast uh, and trigger that and then just search for that mo oh I don't know how to spell that motion templates localized and so motion templates localized that then you can click on that and then that is gonna take you right to where you need to be. Now, if for some reason you don't have that folder, uh, all you need to do is basically create a folder called motion templates dot localized. And then it has these uh, kind of things inside of the folder and it should be able to work if you do that. But that is all you need to do to get your effects in to Final Cut Pro. And boom, there you guys have it, a quick video to help you out. If you found that helpful, click the subscribe button. I'm making more and more Apple Motion videos with free templates, tutorials, uh, stuff that I'm sharing that hopefully will help you learn how to use Apple Motion and just improve 
your videos. And if you like Apple Motion content, then you're gonna wanna check out this video here where I show you how to make that modern lower third that I was mentioning earlier. Pretty cool animation, it's got a free template in there. So I will see you guys in that video.